In Creo Parametric 9.0, you can now perform a topology optimization based on a modal study. Here I have a part model that I've used to perform a topology optimization with a structural study. Let's go to Applications and then Generative Design. And you can see that the colors change because I already have the study set up. I've got my starting geometry designated. I've got preserved geometry, excluded geometry. Now let's go to the study drop down menu and change to a modal study. And it says, are you sure you want to replace the study type? All the study definitions will be deleted, including the design spaces you have designated. But there is a checkbox to keep design spaces designations. Let's click the OK button. And so now I can see here that I've got my starting geometry, preserved geometry, excluded geometry. Let's start off by defining our constraints. So I will click on a fixed constraint. And for my geometry references, I will select that pin and this one. And let's also grab this one and this one over here. I'll click the OK button. And I have a little warning here that loads or constraints are applied to an undesignated body that does not have any contact. Create a contact, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's do that. Let's create a contact. And I will create the contact between this body. For the second reference, let me select my starting geometry. Then I will click the OK button. So that little warning went away. Now let's go to our design criteria. I will click on that and then use the new icon. So you have two different design goals that you can choose. You can either maximize the fundamental frequency or you can minimize the mass. And if you choose to maximize the fundamental frequency, here we have the limit volume. It is set to 50%. Let's change to minimize mass. In this case, I can specify what I want as my minimum frequency. Let's say I want this to be above 432 hertz. That's good. Let me jump down here to add a material. And we get that standard warning from Creo 7.0. Let me select the steel that is already assigned to the model and then use the select button. And now let me turn on my datum plane display to add in a couple different constraints. Let's define planar symmetry. I want this symmetric about this plane and I'll hold down the control key and select this plane. Then let's add in a manufacturing constraint for the build direction. This will be 3D printed. And for my build direction, I will select this plane. Everything looks good here. I will click the OK button. Let's turn off the display of our planes. And before I go to optimize this, I'm going to click on the study settings. And I have this cranked up to optimize speed over detail. If you change the speed, it's going to end up reducing the minimum element size, but I'll leave it nice and fast for the sake of the study. It also sets the maximum number of iterations. Also, you can specify the number of modes. Maybe I'm interested only in the first three modes after the rigid body modes. Then I will click the OK button. And now everything is set up to run this. Let's hit the Optimize button. And this is going to take a few minutes to run. So I will come back when this is done. Okay, so the optimization took just over 11 minutes. We have our modal frequency and our weight reduction. We got about 29% of the original mass. So there you can see how you can use a modal study for topology optimization.